Sunday morning, 9 a.m., breakfasted, coffeed. Our paddling destination is Sea Lion Island. We hear them barking out there all night. Okay, looks like, uh, I don't know, a mile or so on a paddle, maybe closer to two. The one's underway, here we go. All right, we've made it to the Matterhorn. But the white may not be snow, Colin says. Birds love it here. We're gonna take a look, see if there's any uh, interesting life under the water right here. Still a long way out to the island where we hear the sea lions. Not sure we're gonna make it that far. A little afraid of the wind picking up. It's come from the west each day, which means it'd be a nasty few miles back upwind. Can't even see the boat, it's way down there. Uh, maybe we're halfway. Been paddling a long time. Okay, back to the Matterhorn. These shots for you, Captain Hallway, some bird watching. The red throated guy here. Gotta go look them all up on my bird chart from the Scots. Lighting's a little tough. Oh, the water's beautiful. Gotta wonder how does anybody get any sleep around here? They're so loud. Just did a panic drop to our boards. There's a whale right here. And he dove. And he's going this way. Feeling pretty insignificant right now on our little paddle boards. Okay, whale, where'd you go? What's this one doing? Hunting or sleeping? Colin just had a turtle come up by him. And the whale has disappeared. Oh, he's fishing. The current's pushing up against these rocks. Looking for young ones in here. Okay, he's coming over towards me. I better get out of here. You want to land? Yeah. See if the seals are let come in. The sea lion wasn't having anything to do with it. The seals are totally curious about it. And the sea lions are just seem to be mad. Gotta 
like our favorite. We just saw a stingray right here. They seem to be about as curious as us as we are about them. Huh? As the minutes went by, these young seals got closer and closer. We are on their beach, very close. The little beach where the seals are is at the saddle on the middle of this granite island it's called. So we just walk back and forth between the two sides. So that's where we're sitting with seals, here in the narrow gap in the island. And this is the side facing out to the sea. Looking northeast right now, I think. The granite here is beautiful. Covording seals. Seals are swimming very fast, but apparently all these little schools of fish are even faster, so we didn't see any chomping going on. Well, that place was astounding. We just spent the morning swimming with seals, staying away from sea lions. We each had our own turtle encounter. There was a whale just as we were coming in, you know, 100 feet off our boards. We walked over that gap. You'll see the video. I saw the seaside. Looked down on sea lions playing. We have a long paddle back. You can't even see the boat in the film, but it is. Let me point to it right about there. See the white rock 
where we showed you birds. That's not even halfway across. Thankfully, a little bit of a tailwind should take us back. Get some wind. So dramatic. Just incredible being able to hang out with the seals. There were some really inquisitive ones that were coming fairly near us. And can't wait to get this video up on the big screen so you can actually see the seals that were underwater. It was a little bit murky, so they weren't that clear, but man, they were incredible. So and by so fast. And that's the little bar thing we were surfing on. Super low tide. It's the rock ledge bridge between these two little islands. We will ride the flood towards Penasco. We departed Guardian Angel Island this morning about 8 a.m. Sunday morning. And that's Granite Island where we spent yesterday playing with the seals. And these two guys followed us out. They've been swimming along with the boat. You can see we're only doing like three knots in the light breeze. Waiting for it to fill in from the north. It's nice to have a little seal company. Can't quite tell. If the, I think they're just the seals. They look smaller. Oh, keep trying to see if they have ears or not. They swam behind the boat for like 10 minutes and now they're out in front. Oh, those looks like sea lions. We have just, un just basically 100 miles to go. We left at 8 a.m. We want to get there Tuesday morning, so we actually don't want to go too fast and arrive in the middle of the night at the low tide. So doing three knots for a little bit is okay. It's supposed to fill to a nice steady 10 to 15 today. That's a pretty unforgettable place. We both think we'll be back. Refugio Cove. Here's a brown footed booby. Making our way to Panasco, doing upwind, doing eight knots. Colin's doing his laundry. In the kitchen sink. Got an old Captain Morgan bottle. I think we're gonna do a message in the bottle. But trying desperately to think of something clever to say on the note. And basically flat water. Probably 10 knots of breeze. Little white caps are starting. We're pretty head to wind here. The logic driving just fine. Oh, this is for Keith. So, uh, backstay winch, but leeward side now being used for the uh, barber hauler, for the tweaker on the jib. So that works out really well. That way you get a powerful winch on it instead of using these little hand cleats. And not using this guy because this is the uh, jib halyard. We're working halyard tension with this, with this. Keep it off the uh, clutches. I like the setup. All right, we can see the Sonora Coast over there. Very hazy. It's probably 40 miles off. There's some hills. Not that I can see around the curve of the earth or anything. Maybe it's not 40 miles. It must be closer. We're having a uh, peaceful afternoon. Curious to see what the tide current effect does to us as we get closer to the Penasco. And looks like an old shrimp boat way over there. Not a traffic issue for us. And there goes the laundry. Okay, last leg of sailing for this nice two-week trip. 
Hey guys, now it's 4 p.m. on Sunday. We're halfway across from Guardian Angel Island to Penasco. We uh, kind of lost that nice flat sea steak. Now all this fetch is pretty lumpy. And had to crack off. About 15 degrees there, you can see. Because we were pounding off waves, so that's all right. I'll just let those start to throw a bunch of spray, so we had to batten down all the hatches and kind of get into beating up wind mode instead of pleasant day sailing. We're good. We're getting across a lot faster than I figured, so we'll be getting here in the night. We'll find some place probably just to slow her down and stall out till first light. Or if it's all totally mellow, we'll go into the harbor and see if we can anchor up somewhere in the midnight range. Let's give you a little look at now we're doing nine knots. Just scooting along. Relatively comfortable. See the Sonora Coast over here. Good little passage so far. I just like it when we get a hole out of the water. We know we're moving. Now it's five o'clock, an hour later. Seas flattened out just enough to where in clawback I got back 10 degrees. You can see an hour. Much better off. Oops. In line to Penasco. Ocean is so much nicer. See if you guys can see how well the boat rides. See, it's just a little bit flatter. Same boat speed over the ground, just without the leap and pounding and spray. Sunsets for Anton and Dan. Thank you guys for signing up for the California Coast delivery. What's supposed to be happening right now? Instead, Raven's Wind is running for the barn. Eight and a half knots going towards Penasco. The new base here in the Upper Sea of Cortez, so we can get another year in Mexico. A great run the first year out at sea, despite COVID and fires and politics and everything else. The boat left San Francisco last September. Had a heck of a trip. And we're going to finish it up. The full moon. Go to Penasco this September. Treasure doing the trip with my son. He's making dinner for us. Thanks. On the Penasco, 30 more miles. We made it to Penasco about 11 o'clock that night, Sunday night. On the very low tide, so we anchored up just a little bit away from the Cabrales yard. And in the morning, paddled over and asked if we could get hauled a day early. And they said yes. And look at that tidal difference. It was about a 16 foot change to get us ready to come out of the water. Just barely fit in their ways. Cabrales Boatyard, Puerto Penasco. Tuesday morning, September 29th. On the king tide. It's barely fit in this dock. You see how tight it is. No 
probleem al, hè? No probleem al. De Salvador, de owner manager of the yard. He takes care of the boats. Raven's Wing, first time in travel lift. Fitting nicely. First stop in the yard was the power washing sta station to get the bottom cleaned off. And then they left the boat there overnight because we were a day early while well, they did some juggling in the yard. We took the time to uh, finally put on those extra feathers that help make the logo look a little better on the side of the boat. On Tuesday morning, she went back in the travel lift and we moved a few hundred yards to a uh, parking space where the boat sits now and got settled in, did some maintenance work, explored Puerto Penasco for a bit, and by Friday we were in a car service back to Phoenix Airport and a flight home to San Francisco. And that wrapped up Raven's Wings' first year in southern waters. Now it's just after Thanksgiving and I'm loading up the pickup with supplies and some parts. We'll head down and spend early December upgrading and maintaining the boat. We'll get her launched in January. We'll get you some more video then. Thanks for watching everybody.